the targets proceeding along the expected route. That's all I know. When I find out more, I'll tell you. I'll update you as soon as I can. Kai. Snow and ice, far as the eye can see. Not as sexy as the songs of the old motherland make it out to be. But nothing livens up a dull party like an attractive single who's ready to mingle. Do you always talk to yourself like this? I'm talking to you, Agent Forsetti. We're a team now, like it or not. Might as well try to be friendly about it, right? Let's review the mission. Yeah, yeah. Objective is to capture the enemy ship. If they get away, we don't... Is that good enough for you? I don't know why he's so set on keeping that thing in one piece. Oh, well. Can't complain. I've got an interesting mission for once. So they call it a snow cruiser. I guess it's technically a boat, but it looks more like a tank to me. And driving across the ice with that kind of bulk must have one hell of an engine. The problem will be the ground battle to get to the ship. But hey, you're the strategist here. I don't suppose you've already got some master plan cooked up? When it comes to winter warfare, you're the most capable specialist this military has to offer. I expect results from a man of your experience and skills. And there it is. See, we're talking now. Finally, I'm getting somewhere. Mm. Oh, don't be like that. You want me to dance, I'll dance. I'll turn this snowfield into my own personal ballroom. But man, this XO gang sure is full of weirdos, huh? Not that I'm surprised. The shady guy like Belgar running the freak show. feel those two girls watching me all the time. And they're sneaky about it, too. The doc must have them on a tight leash. I assume they're not creeping on them now only because it's their nap time. Hmm. So, what's your story? You another of the doc's pet projects? Hmm. Oof. A cold shoulder again, huh? Nicola and Chiara are protecting her. Who now? Oh, our Lady Cremaria, huh? She won't be participating in this operation. We can't play our trump card so soon. But that doll's our ace in the hole, is she? I don't know what her story is, but she's gonna need more than killer curves to take down a cruiser. She... that thing is a weapon. One that doesn't belong in this world. <sighs> if Command finds out you let civilians onto the ship, no amount of reports are going to save you. If I have to trade my job for the lives of 20-odd refugees, I'd say that's more than a You're one of a kind, sir. Reporting in. All the civilians have safely disembarked. Sergeant Shulin escorted them to the nearest town. Those provisions should be enough to last them. You even gave them our food? Fine work. We'll set off as soon as the escort return. Captain, it's lunchtime. They've made your favorite today. Oh, pardon me, sir. I didn't know you were in a meeting. No, by all means, Marie. I might as well take my lunch while we're still angry. 
Ho-ho-ho! Mmm, steak and kidney pie today, is it? Uh, Brat, I'll pass, thanks. I've never been one for awful. Um, Captain, you're not gonna eat here, are you? Why, yes. I find a nice view is the perfect touch to complement a good... I see. Ah, so long as the ship is running, the captain refuses to leave the bridge. Uh, you stay on the bridge the whole time? And why not? I've got my sleeping bag, I've got my chair. It's quite a good chair. That's gotta be terrible for your back. You should at least sleep in a real bed. You know, Mr. Wallace, I lost a ship once. Uh. It was in the last great war. We were on our way home after a victory. But we were... I'd already had my whiskey nightcap, of course. I was sound asleep in my bed. If I had been on that bridge, I might have noticed the enemy's approach. Perhaps I could have given the order to intercept sooner. Regret is as bitter as poison, Mr. Wallace. But I'd rather not make the same mistake twice. Well, at the very least, you could probably stand a shower more often. <laughs> Captain Morgan. So that's how Squad F does their repairs. Is that a problem? No, no, not at all. It's just, I'm the only one who repairs the tanks in Squad E. It's interesting watching someone else at work. You're so efficient. If you want your repairs to go faster, I suggest working more and talking less. <laughs> hmm. So... You remember what we were talking about? You're curious too, huh? Well, he's trying so damn hard to hide it. How could a guy not be curious? Right? It's gotta be something big. I see you're all working hard. Oh, and Ronald too. How are your injuries? Fine. Listen, I know everyone's still getting used to this ship, so let me know if anything's slowing you down. Oh, not at all. This ship's practically a moving weapons factory. Plenty of raw material, all the tools a guy could dream of. Couldn't ask for more. Good to hear. I'll let you get back to work then. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, Claude, hold on. Maybe you know something. Hmm? About what? About, uh... You know, as a secret. A secret? What? Settle down, Raz. What about my smoking? Don't look at me. It's just what people are saying. I can't say where it started, but there have been some rumors about the reason you quit. Some say a girlfriend dumped you, or I ordered you to. And one guess about you having some incurable disease. They're even betting on it. Last I heard, the pot was big enough to buy a decent motorcycle. They think they could talk shit behind my back? They have to kill time somehow. <laughs> it's so peaceful, people are getting antsy. You never guess we were at war. Yeah, but... I guess. <sighs> uh. 
Welcome back, Kai. Everyone safe and accounted for? Uh, yeah, they're fine. I gave them the food, too. What's got you so spacey? You see some mold on your precious bread babies? <sighs> um... That's all for today, Kai. You can go get some rest. Thanks. I'll do that. Hey, Kai! What was that about? Who knows? Maybe she's just tired. Are you worried? What? No, of course not. It's just weird is all. And Riley's been cooped up in her room too. Man, ladies in traveling, am I right? Are we under attack? An explosion has occurred on board. Medical team, please hurry to Lieutenant Miller's quarters. Riley's room? Huh? Be right back. Riley? Riley? Are you okay? Wasn't expecting that one. Guess it got a little too... Riley. Oh, Claude. Sorry. Uh, it almost worked. Lord almighty! That was a real explosion, young lady. You're the chief engineer, aren't you? That's Andre. He knows more about Ragnite engines than anyone else on the ship. He's a real expert. Can't be that smart if I loaned you tools and fuel to blow your room up. Is this another of your experiments? Sorry. I'm really sorry. It's been a while, so I guess I'm still kind of rusty. Riley, please don't do this in your personal quarters. Okay. I can just live out of the engine room then. No more experiments. Period. You can be my apprentice mechanic instead. We're gonna put you to work. Can I really? This place is an engineer's dream! Is it really that amazing? It's got a cutting-edge Bragnite implosion turbine. It probably costs as much as a smaller nation's whole budget! Bragnite implosion? Why does that sound familiar? That's the technology my dad was researching. They talked about it a lot at the factory in Hafen. Oh, that makes sense. I probably heard about it back then. I kept working on my dad's research when I left for the USV, but... No matter how much we pressurized the Ragnoline, we couldn't get the right precision in the implosion. I can't believe the USB actually took his work this far. All right. This ship's engine was made in the United States of Vinland. The Ragnite compression furnace is a military secret. It's in the restricted area, and even I can't go there. The way I figure it, it probably runs on tech that goes way beyond what we're used to now. So the main reactor's in the Forbidden Sector. Oh, I wish I could take a look! I know it's top security, but even the mechanics aren't allowed in? Well, that makes sense. Ragnite Implosion needs a very controlled and contained environment. If there was even a minor screw-up in the reactor, this whole ship would explode. We'd all be gone in seconds. You say that like you haven't been pacing outside it, trying to get a peek in. Oh, you saw me, huh? Just don't do anything that would get you discharged, okay? Commander Wallace, report to the bridge. I repeat. 
Riley, let's go. Right. The comet was bringing up the rear, but they fell behind and we saw smoke from their position. We're on radio silence, so we can't communicate with them. But all things considered, it's likely they were attacked. They might be stranded there. Any numbers on our assailants? It seems to be the Empire, but they're not using standard issue Imperial equipment. What we do know is that they're very skilled. I believe there's some kind of special strike force. We can't afford to lose the Comet here. We turn back! Full speed and brace for combat! The Centurion will move to support the Comet! Your orders are as follows. 